Hey everyone, I hope you're doing well. So in this video, I'll show you exactly how you can retarget leads that interacted with your chatbot or has entered your sales pipeline, but for some reason they stopped replying. Now, with a lot of businesses, there are a lot of leads that are qualified that end up not replying. And this could have been just because they got busy with something, something came up, and it, ju it doesn't mean that this lead should go to waste and they should never recontact this lead. Um, and so yeah, so what I figured out is that in a lot of sales teams, um, it's very hard to consistently follow up with every single lead that does not reply. And so I created this system that basically retargets all of these leads. Um, and so I'll show you now how it works. If you don't know who I am, I'm Alessandro Colford. I help sales managers and founders with integrating AI systems into their sales process to eliminate every single repetitive task that their sales reps need to do. The purpose of replacing this with an AI agent is so that you can then place your SDR into a position where they can do a task that is much more, um, that will provide a higher return on investment for your company. So let's get straight into the video and I'll show you exactly what I mean with this. So this is a website that I created very quickly um, and there's a chatbot. So what I'll be showing you is I'll interact with the chatbot. I'll give my details, so my name and my phone number, and then I'll stop replying. Um, let's just say I had to leave or I had a call something like that. So I stop replying five minutes later. Well, um, I will receive a call from uh, the AI that we will create together now. If I do not reply to this call, well, then I will receive a WhatsApp message with a brochure, which will have all of the details I need to know about every single prophecy of the company. Um, and then, well, I'll be added to a follow up cadence, which will consistently send out AI calls and WhatsApp messages until I reply or until I say that I'm not interested. And then at the same time, well, my phone number and my details will get added to a CRM. Now, if I do reply, um, my details will get added to a CRM. And then also, well, if I book in a tour uh, or if I book in a time to speak with the real estate agent, then I will receive a message confirmation on WhatsApp uh, with the date and time of my call. Um, and then also we can set up reminders for when the call is actually going to happen so that we ensure that there is a maximum um, show up rate to the meetings that are being booked. Um, so I have a document here which shows exactly how everything works, um, how to do it in detail, what kind of tech stack do you need. If you do want to have access to this and access to all of the uh, to everything that I use in, in a template format. Um, just book in a call with me. We'll have a 15 minute chat just to understand where you're at with building these systems and what you want to use it for. And then after that call, well, I'll provide you the template and I'll also explain to you how you can install it. What I saw is that um, a lot of people, they just give out these templates. They ask you to join their community, etc. Me, I am actually offering you to get on a call and to implement this directly with you and to go, go through a couple of questions within that 15 minute period, um, just because I, I think it's much more valuable to, uh, to you for that. Um, I mean, I've been doing this for the past 14 months and at the beginning I was also asking for templates and I ended, I, I never really used these templates that I was getting because I didn't know how to actually uh, use the, the system that required to be used. Um, so yeah, so let's get right into it. So this is the website I, that I did. Um, so when you go on the website, the chatbot would pop up and then there would be a greeting message. The purpose of this is to, well, turn visitors into leads. Um, what I mean by that is, well, when someone comes to your website, they're just a visitor. You don't have any details of them. And if they just leave the website, then you will never be able to actually retarget them. So by implementing a chatbot that opens up with a greeting message, this will incentivize the, perp the person to actually respond to the chatbot and to make the inquiry. So in this case, hey, I'm Julia from Luke's Homes, how can I help you? Let's say I saw this property, I really want it. Um, and so I want to talk with Julia um, to maybe get more details about these properties. Okay, great. So let me show you exactly how this works in VoiceFlow. So VoiceFlow is used to create the chatbot and basically in the background, there's also, um, well, ChatGPT or another type of LLM that will um, just that will prompt and keep reprompting re until we get to the desired outcome that we want with the chatbot. But here we have different types of nodes. Um, so the first question is to, was to ask them, well, what do they need help with? Uh, then ap after that, we capture their property type and we categorize if uh, we have the name of the property. 
If not, then we will ask them a different type of question. Um, the person might ask to directly talk with a live agent. So we also categorize it for that. Now, if we do have the property name, then it will use uh, the property name within the text. If we don't, then we won't use it. The next step from there is to always ask the first name and then the phone number. And then after that, well, we use the first name as variable within the text. And then we ask them, well, the motivation be behind the purchase and we save all of these answers into variables. The reason why we do that is then to use it in the CRM and into the AI caller. So I won't go much more in detail in here. Um, the next step here uh, also, which is important, is we, uh, we see if they actually qualified. So if they have the budget, now I set it to the budget. If it's below 200K, then you're not qualified to buy a house. Um, uh, but if you do have the budget, then it'll go to the next step. Um, and we'll actually ask you to book in a call with, uh, with a real estate agent instead of sending you to the AI call, etc. So now this is what would happen on Zapier. So here, basically, when the chat ends, it sends, um, it triggers a webhook on Zapier, which will trigger the first automation. Um, and then we'll basically, with the Python code, what we do is we just generate an ID, which is used in the database here. So this is, for example, an ID of the call. Um, the next step is to create a record in a table, so the CRM. Then we store the value, so we store the so we store the unique ID to the phone number. The reason why we do that is to then fill in the rest of the details. So when the AI call is actually done and what is the outcome of the AI call, in order to, to in order to connect it to the same lead, we connect it based on the user ID. So that's why we store that value. Then we delay for one minute just to trigger the call and then the call gets triggered. So this is how it looks like when the call gets triggered. We get the value. So from the phone number, we can get the ID. And then in the air table, that's how we search the line of that lead. Um, and then we also trigger the call and we add the different variables that is needed. Um, the different variables that we took from the chat button voice flow. After that, well, when the call is finished, based on the transcript, we will categorize it in the different parts. So if we go to the voicemail, if there was no pickup, if the call, if a call was booked, if the call was negative, um, if the person will plan to follow up, and if we go to an automatic system, uh, so the call, let's say, it replies and then it asks you to press one, two, three, or four, that's an automatic system. And then based on that, well, we would create a contact on many chats, send them uh, the right flow on many chats, so a message on many chats, and then also update the Airtable. So here we have one flow which is called booked. So this is when a user books in a call, they will receive um, a confirmation message on many chats. Now, if we have, what we can also send is, for example, um, a message to see the brochure. Uh, so we would actually be able to send a PDF version um, uh, of pictures of the house uh, within WhatsApp. And then let's say if they want to talk to a live agent directly on WhatsApp, then they can, and it will actually be a human that can respond with the person directly. So someone from your team can respond. They'll be notified by email, or we can do a notification system on Slack, Telegram, anything, um, just to inform you when someone wants to do live chat. So that all of that is possible, and it's very easy to use. Then here we're on VP and on VP where we have the whole script, which you can get if you book in a call with me and, and if we, we, so then I can actually tell you how it works with the different variables within the script. Um, in, and then, yeah, with VP you can do a lot of things. You can choose the voice, you can add functions. So that's, you can add fun, you can add tools, for example, to book in directly the meeting within, in the calendar of the person. Um, and then you can also go more advanced um, in it where you can actually, this is how I get the transcript uh, by sending, by triggering, this is how I get the tra transcript after the call is finished, is by triggering a webhook um, when the person has hanged up. So, so yeah, so that's pretty much it. Okay, great. So now let me show you a demo. Um, so let's say I'm a visitor. I go on the real estate website and I see this property. I'm very interested in it. I get a greeting message from uh, Julia. Uh, so I'm going to re reply to her. Um, so here she says, hey, I'm Julia from Luke's Homes. How can I help you today? Uh, hey, Julia, I saw a property 
on your site that I am interested in. So here it's going to ask me what kind of property am I interested in to get a little bit more information and then that will be used in the AI call and also to place into the CRM. So that's great to hear. Could you tell me which property you're interested in? I'll just say Aloha Gardens. Let's just say that this property is named Aloha Gardens. And so this will be used within um, as the variable in the next message. So that sounds like a lovely choice. The Aloha Gardens is a fantastic property. Do you mind if I ask your name and phone number in case we get disconnected? So here, this is a great way to actually turn a visitor into a lead and generate information from that visitor that you can then use later on if they stop replying. So um, here I'll just put my name, Alessandro, and my phone number. And this will also be used then to add into the CRM and then also in the AI caller, in the WhatsApp message, etc. Thank you, Alessandro. What's motivating you to purchase a property? Um, so here I'm going to say, well, well, I'm moving to Dubai with my family. So this will also be used in the AI call. And then it also gives general information for the real estate agent um, to know that this person, well, is serious with buying a property because they're moving to Dubai. It's not like they're just going there on vacation or they're just doing an inquiry to see the price. So that sounds exciting. Moving to Dubai is a big step. Do you have a specific budget in mind for your property? Um, I'll just say no, my wife decides. Let's just say my wife decides. This is also good to know because then um, what can be used as well, the AI caller could also ask that the that all decision makers um, are on the call that is being booked or during the tour uh, when they go view the property because otherwise what would, what would happen is, uh, well, the person who cannot take the decision will go there and then was well, kind of time wasted if the decision maker is not there. So here we will reply to it, no problem at all. It's always good to discuss it together. Just to help you better, can you share how soon you're hoping to make this purchase? Let's just say now I'm polite and I'm going to tell this person that I have to leave. Uh, sorry, I, I got to go, talk soon. Let's say I have a meeting or something. So here's just gonna reply to me with no worries. Um, just reach out when you have any type of questions. And so after this, what will happen is I will actually receive a call on my phone um, five minutes after, one hour after, four hours after um, that, that can be programmed. And the purpose of the call is to, and what the purpose of the call is to just um, re, well, to inform the person that they were interested in a property and to get them a book to and to get them to book in a tour or to speak with a real estate agent or even to go over some questions that they had um, about their property purchase. So here what's going to happen um, basically. Um, so here what's going to happen is it will it triggered the automation, as you can see here, there's a one minute delay. Um, from sending a call. So it will send that in one minute and then also it, sh it will add it in the CRM as you can see here with the date, the time, the ID, the phone number, um, what are the, what is the inquiry about and then the property type, the motivation for purchase, etc. And then these other fields will be completed after the call has been ended or if a call was even possible. Hey Julia, yeah, now is a is a perfect time. H how are you? I'm doing well, thank you. I hope you are too. So I wanted to follow up on your interest in Aloha Gardens and your plans for moving to Dubai with your family. It sounds like an exciting journey. What's been on your mind since we last chatted? Yes, indeed. Uh, thank you. Um, yeah, so I, I've just been wondering, and I I can't really see on your on your website, but are pets allowed um, on the property? Because yeah, we have two dogs and one cat. So it's very important for us. I understand how important it is to have your pets with you. Generally, Aloha Gardens is pet friendly, but I would recommend confirming the specifics with an agent to ensure all details align with your needs. Would you be interested in scheduling a quick chat with one of our agents to go over this and any other questions you might have? Um, 
Yes, of course, that, that, that would be good. I just had another question. Do you know if there's any vets nearby my property for my pets? That's a great question. There are indeed vet clinics and pet services in the vicinity of Aloha Garden. But having an agent okay. discuss it with you can provide more tailored information. They could also help with other local amenities you might want to know about. When would be a good time for you to have a chat with an agent? Okay, yeah, no, that, that that's fine. Um, well, if we can do the chat like tomorrow uh, at 9 a.m., that would be perfect. Tomorrow at 9 a.m. sounds great. I'll make sure to set that up. You'll receive a confirmation and details via WhatsApp shortly. Is there anything else you'd like to cover before we wrap up? No, that's that sounds good. Um, so yeah, I'll I'll be on the call tomorrow. Perfect. I'm glad we could connect today, Alessandro. Looking forward to hearing from you tomorrow. Have a wonderful day. Yes, thank you. Bye bye. Goodbye. And then yeah, it just ends the call. And now what will happen is the transcript will get generated. Um, and we'll get categorized by the last part in Zapier and then everything will get added to the CRM. So here you can see it just finished generating. Um, so it triggered the webhook, um, ChatGPT categorized it uh, into, booked, into call booked. And then we got the value from the phone number, so the ID. Um, and then it created a contact on ManyChat. It sent a message on ManyChat and then it also well created a well updated a record on Airtable. And so if we actually look into the mini chat, the contact got created and this is the message that they received. So just a confirmation message, which you could also add which what you could also send is the brochure, pictures of the property, um, the live aid the real estate agent could actually directly speak to the person, maybe before the call, send some information that they would need, etc. And then now if we actually go into the CRM we can actually see the date when this happened, the time, the ID the name, the phone number of the person, the question that they asked, the property type that they inquired about, why do they want to buy this property, uh, did they book a call, did the AI caller call them, what is the outco outcome of the AI caller, and did they receive a message on WhatsApp, and then also a transcript um, on, from the call. And then here the, the sales rep could put like a next action step, or you could also automate that. Uh, but like for example here, we could just put meeting booked and then that's done and then that allows you to have everything organized and it also allows you to have a system that's fully automated 24 7 um, to have a system that is fully automated 24 7 just by people talking with a chatbot and by filling in their details if they stop replying you don't lose them because you're gonna have the ai caller that will call them etc that's pretty much it i hope this video was valuable to you again if you want to have all of the templates all of the resources from this video uh, just book in a call with me, we'll talk for 15 minutes and I'll go through everything so then you actually know how to use it and so that you don't just get added to a community or um, that you don't procrastinate on it, that you actually can add it to your business or can learn about how to create one yourself. Um, and yeah, I'll see you in the next video. If you found this video valuable, uh, feel free to like it, to subscribe and, uh, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.